Section 5.2, Perpendicular Bisectors. A perpendicular bisector is a segment or a line that goes through the midpoint of a line segment, which effectively bisects the line segment, and is perpendicular to the line segment. Looking at the line segment that we have drawn, we have line segment AB. The first thing you want to do when making a perpendicular bisector is to find the midpoint of your line segment. That's the point that cuts the line segment in half. We then want to draw a line through that midpoint that is perpendicular to the line segment. So in the picture on your screen, L is the perpendicular, because it is perpendicular to AB, bisector, because it cuts AB in half of segment AB. Well, what we see is some interesting things. And let's go ahead, let's take a look. On your screen, again, we have our line segment. We can construct a midpoint. And notice, no matter how I change my line segment, D is always the midpoint. I can send a line to the perpendicular. And we can just double check this and see, yep, we have a right angle. Okay, so on our screen we have our perpendicular bisector of segment AB. There's some interesting things that we notice though, and that's that if we have a point on this perpendicular bisector, and we want to know the distance of that point to the endpoints of the line segment. What we see is that no matter where I put this point, it is always the same distance from A and B. No matter how I arrange my line segment, any point on the perpendicular line segment, or the perpendicular bisector, will be the same distance from the endpoints. Well, this brings us to theorem 5.2, the perpendicular bisector theorem. And that tells us that in a plane, so if we're on a flat surface, if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant. Let me write that a little clearer. So equidistant means equal distance, and it's spelled E-Q-U-I-D-I-S-T-A-N-T from the endpoints of the segment. We also have the converse to the, the perpendicular bisector theorem. That's theorem 5.3. And that tells us that in a plane, if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, for example, we have some point out here, C, that is equidistant from both A and B, then that point, so the point C, is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. So C must be on this perpendicular bisector L. Those are the basics of perpendicular bisectors. In the next video, we're looking at perpendicular bisectors of triangles. So do make sure you know the basics first. If you're ready, you can go on to video two of this section.